Hello, hello, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, and in this series we will follow Aloy on her quest to join the Hunter's Lodge and eventually rise up through its ranks. So, right from the start here, the first thing we're going to have to do is locate one of the hunting grounds as we cannot access the Hunter's Lodge without some marks and we can get those marks from the hunting grounds and the nearest and easiest hunting ground to us will be the Nora hunting grounds so we're going to make our way up to the hunting ground here and speak to the keeper This is a hunting grounds, right? What do you do here exactly? Hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the sacred land and returned. The matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. Pick one of these trials and I'll explain it. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. I like that one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing. So we have to shoot 10 canisters off the back of 10 or a number of grazers. And the best weapon for this is the blast arrows which will, if landed, blow loads of bits off of them. Something like this. So that is 10 canisters now removed. We're going to make our way back to the keeper and reload our quiver. 
Um, basically, you get one of three marks. You get timed, and the longer you take, the lower the mark is you get. But I will be aiming for the highest marks, which are Blazing Suns. Uh, there are 15 of these challenges to take care of in total. So we're hoping for 15 Blazing Suns. Here's your Blazing Sun. I'm ashamed to admit I've never won one myself. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. Can't wait to see what you do with that. Ready when you are. So for this challenge, we have to eliminate uh, a number of grazers. I believe it's six, and we have to use the environment around us. So we are going to select our blast sling. Now, I have been ahead in the game and acquired all of the best possible weaponry. So what we're going to do here basically is we're going to throw one of our blast slings or sling one of our blast slings. That will make all of the grazers panic and we can then shoot all of these log piles you can see down on top of them. So we actually managed to complete that trial by just dropping one log pile on the grazers. I am going to collect up some resources as I am running rather low of a few bits and pieces. Let's hope the uh, watcher there doesn't spot us. Too late, I didn't see you. So we'll take these guys out before we head back to the keeper and retrieve our blazing sun. Come here you. Ah, tricky one are you? Have that. And that. And that. Right. Oh, a third one. Uh, miss me. And that. Right, so, once again, gather up a few resources before we head back to speak to the Keeper and get our second of three marks available at this hunting ground. And once we have completed the hunting ground, or the Nora hunting ground, we can then make our way to the Hunter's Lodge, which is at Meridian which is quite a long way away but as I said I've already skipped ahead to collect up all the weaponry that I can and to get that weaponry you also need to go to Meridian so the way there is nice and clear for us and we can't we can fast travel our, all our way there and we won't have to run the whole way how do you First time, and you win a blazing sun. You're good, even for Nora. Use your blast wire and Karja Tripcaster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Perfect. I'll start timing when you start down a rope. So for this challenge we need to utilize our trip wires. Uh, we're going to be using the blast trip wires. And what we're going to do, we have three minutes, so we're going to waste about half of that time, roughly. And we're going to just set up a whole load of these trip wires. There are three of these ravines where the grazers may run through. So we're going to set up a few trip wires down each of them before unleashing one of our blast slings and getting all of the grazers to run down these ravines at, in a panic and hopefully we can eliminate six of them. Uh, these guys don't always play ball usually I will only put these uh, tripwires in a couple of the ravines and they will always run down the one ravine that I have not booby trapped. So today I am going to booby trap all of them, so hence taking quite a bit of time to set this up. So we're in the third ravine here now, and you notice I'm putting at least two of these trip wires 
in every one of the ravines. Hopefully we can catch multiple uh, grazers with each tripwire. So once all of our traps are in place, all we need now is our guests of honor. So that took rather longer than I was expecting or hoping but we did manage to complete the trial and we did it with five seconds to spare. Although we would have had longer, we have as long as we need but you do have time limits for the marks that you require. And luckily for us we did manage to secure six of the grazers within the blazing sun time limit. So let's go back to the keeper and collect our third and final mark for this grounds. These blazing sun marks are rare, well done, and well earned. You have everything you need to enter the Hunter's Lodge. Good luck in Meridian. Of course, you can still run more trials with me. I should go. Come back when you're ready. So now that we have our three marks, I don't think you need all three, and they're all blazing suns as well, we are now going to jump over to Meridian using our fast travel. And I have got the golden fast travel pack, so I have unlimited fast travels. Again, you can acquire that at the Meridian Village where there is a really, really useful trader who has all of the best bits of equipment. But here we are once again back in Meridian, just like we did in the story. Uh, unfortunately, I've got myself somewhat lost, but we'll have this supply crate while we're here. And we're going to make our way around to the Hunter's Lodge, if I can find my way out of this little area. Now, unfortunately, Meridian is a little bit of a maze. Lots of little alleyways and turnings. But once we're out on this main section here, it's pretty easy to navigate your way around. And the Hunter's Lodge is just up ahead of us. And once we get there, we can present our marks and we can be accepted into the Hunter's Lodge. And we have to pledge ourselves to a hawk and then we can proceed on from there. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. 
I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. So we have access to the Hunter's Lodge. We need to now go and speak to the Sun Hawk, who is just up the stairs here and around the corner. And this guy is not very pleasant to us at all. Causing trouble. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The sacred land, but yes, I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a Hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. So we have been accepted into the Hunter's Lodge and we now need to locate our Hawk. And she is just at the bottom of the stairs here. You're Talana? Assis said you were a Hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm, I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes the Sunhawk. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to assist. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make a sea spoil. So we need to acquire ourselves a number of trophies. Six in total. Uh, three sawtooths, two ravagers and one stalker. Uh, luckily, once again, because we have the... Uh, golden travel pack we can simply just jump straight ahead to the locations unfortunately we have no campfires lit up 
in any of these locations so we are going to have to take the long route and we're going to have to run all the way I think that's the closest we're going to get from that one so starting off we are going to head for the uh, Ravagers I believe we will go for first uh, the Ravagers are quite formidable they're not too bad but they do work in tandem they are quite tricky to take out so we're just going to leave a marker there so we know which of our uh, points on the map we are heading for because having five or six points in different directions can be confusing but here we are at our first location and somewhere around here we will find hopefully a ravager and even more hopefully two ravagers and we do have a number of animals about on machines I can see some of the sort of crab like creatures they are very useful for resources so we'll try and take care of a few of them and I have spotted at least one ravager there he is so hopefully we can get rid of his his location device some of these machines can track you essentially they have a, a, a tracking device and even if you hide in the tall grasses they can still find you so let's take out a couple of ravagers shall we So we have our first Ravager trophy, let's just uh, find the other one, I'm hoping there's another one around here and we don't have to go looking for it. So hopefully he's around here somewhere but I have spotted the first Ravager it has a cannon which we managed to dislodge. Now I always recommend if you manage to dislodge one of these large weapons off of one of the, the larger machines use the, the machine's own weapons against them and you will see these are quite formidable weaponry Oh, I've been spotted by something. Ah! There you are! I wondered if you were going to show up uh, you see how quickly I was able to bring that second Ravager down with its own weaponry. So that is now two of our six required trophies. So we're now going to have a look and see if we can't get close to any of the others. And I think the next uh, machine we're going to go for will be the Stalker. Uh, these are quite tricky animals to take care of because they are able to camouflage themselves and we have managed to jump quite close to where they are so we won't have to be running around too much so we're just gonna re-equip our uh, quiver with some more arrows and we're gonna make our way around this big stone mountain just to, to our right and the ravagers are just on the far side Again, we are somewhat short on resources, so I will be taking out other machines along the way if I have to. And we do have one Strider, I believe it is, trying to attack us. Yep, there you are. And there you go. So the Stalker is literally just around this corner here. You can see they... they have proximity mines that will go off if we get too close and alert the stalkers to our presence and they will camouflage themselves and hunt us down but I also know that if I go up onto that ledge up there I will be able to spot them a lot easier and without triggering any of their detection devices They're scanning for me. 
So as you can see, they are very, very hard to spot because they blend in so well. But using the tear blast arrow, I've managed to bring one down with a single shot. So once we go and collect up our trophy, that will be free down and free to go. And this one manages to have dropped quite a number of little items, but the trophy is the bit we need the most. And all we have to do for the trophy is to search the bodies. So we're just going to grab up all of these resources here. As I've mentioned previously, we are a little bit thin on resources, particularly arrowheads and arrow sticks. So all that's left for us to do now is to collect up the free sawtooth uh, trophies. And they are quite a long way away and we have no way of getting to them via fast travel. So we are having to run all the way there. Ah, and what's this I spy? Two sawtooths in the distance. So let's see if we can't eliminate these two. And that will bring us down to needing only one more trophy. So, two sawtooths taken care of, we're going to collect up our trophies once again and that will leave us with one more sawtooth to acquire and I'm hoping that if I run away from this area far enough and then double back, these two uh, sawtooths will respawn. So if you get far enough away and wait long enough, which isn't very long, uh, the machines will respawn and we can come back and attack again. Unfortunately we only need one more trophy and there are two sawtooths and these two work together. Unlike the last two, uh, these two are working in tandem and they are going to hurt me quite badly. So even two sawtooths working together are no match for Aloy. And we now have our six trophies. So we can now make our way back to Meridian once we've re-stocked uh, our quivers. And we can then go and hand over our trophies to Aziz or whatever his name was. And we can then uh, progress on. So here we are once again back in Meridian and we need to make our way once again back to the Hunter's Lodge if Aloy can tear herself away from the spectacular scene ahead of us here. Come on Aloy, you know you want to, you have the trophies, let's go back and speak to Asis, Aphis, uh, I can't pronounce his name. And let's try not to get lost in Meridian for a second time in one day. Luckily, this time I remembered to run round the long way. 
instead of trying to take a shortcut through a locked gate. So once we get here, we're going to go and speak to Aziz. I'm just going to keep calling him Aziz because I don't know his real name. I can't pronounce it properly. Plus, with a broken tooth, it is quite difficult to say certain words without slurring and drooling. So here we are at the Hunter's Lodge, and we're going to make our way upstairs and speak to the obnoxious man on the first floor. And once we do that, we can then find out what our next challenge is. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. So with our trophies handed over, we're going to go back and speak to Tal Talmara and find out what to do next. And we're going to leave the story here for now and we will pick this up again in the next episode. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.